Good day everyone! Today, let us discuss changing proper fraction to mixed number or vice versa. Our objective is to change improper fraction to mixed number and vice versa. So now, let's have a short drill. Let us find the quotient of the following. 25 divided by 5 is... 5. Next, 9 divided by 3 is... How many 3 do we have in 9? Okay, we have 3. Next, 26 divided by 9. We have 4. Okay, so 42 divided by 6 is 7. Very good. Now, let's have a short review about fraction. So, let us define fraction. Fraction are actually used to express parts of a whole. They can be written or represent in different forms. Fraction can be proper fraction, improper fraction, or mixed number. Okay kids, we all know the definition of fraction. So now, let's have a short game. So this game is what we call the word walk we show. So what are you going to do is to copy the link written below, then search it into the Google Chrome. Then, answer the following question in the quiz show. So let's do it! Have you experienced accepting visitors at home? How do you treat them while they are in your house? Let's find out if you did the same as what Milo did in this situation. Nilo invited his friends to their house. He served them with juice and 1080 slices of pizza for their snack. How many whole pizzas and fractional part of the pizza did he serve? Answer the following questions. 1. Who were invited by Nilo to their house? Number 2. What did Nilo serve them? And number 3. What good characteristics did Nilo show in accepting his visitors? Based on the problem, how many slices of pizza did Nilo serve to his friends? He served 10 eight slices of pizza. And what is us in the problem? The number of whole pizza and the fractional fight is being us. To further understand how it looks, let us make an illustration. This illustration shows the slices of pizza that Nilo served to his friends. Based on the figure, the whole pizza is divided into 8. Each part is 1 8 or 8. So let us count how many 1 8 do we have in the figure. Let's count the shaded part. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 10 8 in the figure. So if we count 1 8 in the first figure, there are 8 8. So 8 8 is equal to 1 or equal to 1 whole. In the second figure, how many 1 8 do we have? Okay, we have 2 8. If we add 8, 8 plus 2, 8 is equals to 10, 8. So 10, 8 is an example of improper fraction. So now, how do we change an improper fraction to a mixed number? For example, we have 10, 8. 10, 8 is an improper fraction. So we change improper fraction to a mixed number by dividing the numerator by its denominator. So 10 divided by 8 is 1. 1 times 8 is 8. Then subtract. 10 minus 8 is 2. So the answer is 1 remainder 2. Remainder 2 will become our numerator. The quotient 1 is a whole number. 8 will become the denominator. 
So the answer is 1 and 2, 8. So 10, 8 is equal to 1 and 2, 8. 10, 8 is an improper fraction and 1 and 2, 8 is a mixed number. And also, 1 and 2, 8 is the number of whole pizza and fractional part did Nilo serve to his friends. So this is how we change improper fraction to mixed number. So let's have an another example. We have 15 6. So first step is to divide the numerator by its denominator. So we have 15 divided by 6 is 2. Then 2 times 6 is 12. Then 15 minus 12 is 3. So we have remainder 3. Okay, again, the quotient 2 will be a whole number. Remainder 3 will be the numerator. And 6 is our denominator. So 15, 6 is equal to 2 and 3, 6. To check our answer, let us illustrate 2 and 3, 6. Our denominator is 6, so let us draw 6 equal parts. Our numerator is 15, so we shaded 15 equal parts. In the first figure, we have 6, 6 are equal to 1. And in the second figure, we have 6, 6 are equal to 1. And in the third figure, we have 3, 6. If we add 1 whole plus 1 whole plus 3, 6, this is equal to 2 and 3, 6. Another example, we have 27, 9. So 27 divided by 9 is 3. 3 times 9 is 27. Then subtract. 27 minus 27 is 0. So the answer is 3. 3 is a whole number. Let's have an illustration. In this example, there is no remainder in dividing 27 by 9. That means there are 3 whole in 27 parts and there is no fractional part left. Always remember that the denominator or the number below the fractional bar tells the number of parts the whole is divided. In the first figure, we have 9 ninth or 1 whole. In the second figure, we have 1 whole and in the third figure, we have 1 whole. If we add 1 plus 1 plus 1 whole, it's equals to 3. So, 27 9 is equals to 3. Now, let us change mixed number to improper fraction. Okay, we have 5 and 3 fourth. Let's make an illustration to show 5 and 3 fourth. The denominator is 4 which means that the whole is divided into 4 equal parts. Therefore, each part is 1 fourth or fourth. As you can see in the figure, there are 23 shaded parts or 23 fourths because we have 5 1 whole and 3 fourths. That means 5 and 3 fourth is equal to 23 fourths. To change mixed number to improper fraction, multiply the denominator by the whole number. So 4 times 5 is 20. Then add the numerator to the product of the denominator and whole number. So 20 plus 3 is 23. Then copy the denominator which is 4. So the answer is 23 fourth. Another example, let us change 6 and 1 for it to improper fraction. First, let us multiply the denominator by the whole number which is 4 times 6 equals 24. Then add the numerator to the product of the denominator and whole number. 24 plus 1 is 25. Then copy the denominator. So the answer is 25 fourth. For your activity, answer the following. Change each of the following improper fractions to mixed number. Then match the mixed numbers in column A with the equivalent improper fractions in column B. Write the letter only.
Next, fill in the boxes with the missing numerator, denominator, or rule number to make each equation correct. Now, it's time for you to sum up what have you learned by doing this activity. Fill in the blanks with the correct words to complete the idea. Choose your answer from the box below. Write your answer on a sheet of paper. Let us see if you can use what have you learned in answering the given situation. Have you experienced sharing what you have to others? The following situations show the sharing is really caring. To understand it better, read and analyze the problem. Write your answer on a sheet of paper. For your home activities, change the following fractions to improper fractions or mixed numbers.